gun life, so. Whew, I don't know. I know where Gary is. Where is he? He left here hours ago. Can I take my coat off? What was that all about? Well, where have you been? Well, you told me to go and roll that wheel out. Well, let's have a look. They're supposed to be measuring the cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's still on zero. Was I meant to activate the thing on the side? Well, either you've been on 10,000 metres, which <laughs> I suggest you haven't. No. Or, uh, yeah. Or, or you're going to have to do it again. What now? Well, it's dark now. Okay. All right, well, give us it back. Yeah. What a so, great bit of kit. We're supposed to do a review. You're supposed to come back with the exact number. Okay. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the live stream uh, for everyone who's joined us this evening. We've got plenty to get through, and as always, there'll probably be a, a sniff of a giveaway, Gordon. But as always, we like to start with the news. So what news have you got for me today? <sighs> the news. Well, it's not even rumours this time, Gareth. Some people may remember last year we got an exclusive sniff on a story that the MK Century Consumer Unit was going to be discontinued. And it was one of our most popular articles on our website, efix.co.uk. Yeah, like the plug. That story does phenomenally well because obviously everyone who, who can't get their whole hands on a uh, Century Consumer Unit now comes to our website. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so that's not news, that's old news, Gordon. That's old news. But then I found this the other week. Uh, someone's actually bringing the brand back. Oh, that looks familiar. It does, it looks like an MK consumer unit. It does. Yeah, but it's a bit of history. MK is owned by the U US conglomerate Honeywell. Right. And uh, yeah, they've, they've decided to license the name right. Century MK to somebody else. Okay, so, and they're now gonna produce 18th edition boards. Yeah, congratulations. You're only, uh, how many, how long have we been on the 18th well, edition? Well, we've already had Amendment 1 and we're discussing Amendment 2. So yeah, yeah we've been in it a while now. So. But Okay, that, that's all right. So they've thrown the hat back into the ring, but what does that mean then? Well, they've, they've launched a company called Cirque Pro. Okay. And then it, it, a little bit digging on the, on, the, on the website for who Cirque Pro is. Cirque Pro is uh, part of the, looks like the Chinese company. Right. Who's been making it for the last 12 years anyway. Right. So the people that were manufacturing the product to send it to MK for them to sell it have cut out MK, yeah. got the MK badge on their boards, and now they're selling it again. Yeah. Masterstroke, I would suggest, okay? <laughs> so, that's the, you know, so we make the product and sell it. That seems like a very good, uh, a good thing to be, a good position to be in. Mm. But some changes have happened in that time, so they've got to get up to speed, haven't they? Yeah, so what, is, what does the 18th edition mean for the new MK? Uh, and that just means it looks like they've Ooh. finally, Ooh. finally managed to put surge protection in. They have. It looks like a dual RCD board, so... Please don't comment. We'll come to comments at some point tonight because we've got to cover that. But yeah, so it's a dual last year. It's an image that we've put up on the screen. Mm. I'd be a bit worried though, Gordon, because um, thumbing through Amendment 2, they're trying to shuffle in the uh, old AFDD. Wouldn't that be a lot of research? Yeah, so I mean, okay, two, two years late in uh, introducing the surge protection advice. And then, yeah, so what, what will happen with Amendment 2 if, yeah, if the AFDD makes it through there? <laughs> Could be another two years before we see anything, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll keep, we'll, we'll keep it, but that's great, And it? So, yeah, for the fans of the MK board, it's back, okay? It's made by the same people, so you haven't got to worry about that, have you? So you've got the same product. You never know, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a, yeah, MK, Honeywell, MK have stopped making it, and then now it's supplied by the people who always made it anyway, mm. but if you've got an existing unit, what happens with that? You know, if you, you so really are putting, Oh, don't go there. No, don't yeah. go there. No, 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 no. We're not going there. Everything's fine. Yeah. Okay. You know, if you had, but say you had a problem, I'll try. I will go there. <laughs> say you had a problem with your existing board and you'd, you'd put in this uh, oh, protection from the new no. MK okay. made by somebody else. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's You're going getting down messy, a type, type testing route, are we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's the same company. Same company. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, but this I'll, is the trend these days, Gary. What? To start an argument? No, no. Start, well, no, we always have arguments. That, that's, I mean, that's a given. That, that's, that's, that, yeah, that, that, that just happens. You know, companies, you know, IBM don't make IBM laptops anymore. They sold that off to somebody else. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah I like the thinking there. Yeah, so, you know, if I was to, to, to guide you through some, some, some names. Okay, yeah. I'll, yeah. yeah. Uh, you think of, um, I don't know, think of a, a famous earth mover manufacturer. Okay. 
Yeah. So well, I've got to give you a name that comes to mind. Yeah. So if you're moving anything, like I'd say JCB. JCB, cool. Yeah. Popular Great British brand there. Absolutely. Lots yeah. of JCB. We do. Yeah. yeah. World of Diggers. Yeah. yeah. What else do they make? I don't know. Well, bigger machines that I don't can't name at the moment. Light bulbs. <laughs> Lamps. <laughs> you can now buy. You can now really? buy a JCB really? light bulb. I think I once saw a packet of batteries with JCB on as well, but I just ignored it. Yeah. Well, yeah, so it does spring to mind. When you say JCB, I say lamps. Okay, yeah. yeah. Got another one for me? Test me again. Uh, people, uh, younger viewers won't remember film that you used to put in the camera. Oh, I do. Yeah, who made that? Kodak. Kodak, yeah. Well, Kodak. Absolutely, Kodak. Yeah. yeah. Kodak Color. Yeah, what else do they make now? I don't know. Light bulbs. They make lamps, of course they do. That was, uh, I've got the next one. If you give me another one, I think, I'll, I think I know where this is going. Yeah. So yeah, so I don't associate Kodak with lamps. That's for, that's for sure, but we will from now on. Got another one for me? Uh, you do now, think of uh, post-it notes and insulation tape. Who makes that? Um, G3, is it? I always get the numbers wrong. G3, G4? 3M. Four, 3M, <laughs> no, 3M. Oh, that's the, that's the, yeah, why, yeah. We actually went to a centre, me and um, me and Joe one time. I couldn't get it right the whole time I was there either. A little bit of trivia. Yeah. What does 3M stand for? I don't know. There you go. Minnesota Mining and Minerals. So there you go. Sandpaper. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> See you next time on the live stream. What else do they make now, though? Uh, lamps. Yeah. Lamps. Look at that. <laughs> Well, it was obvious they were going to be making lamps. Yeah. 3M. Yeah, okay. 3M, 3G, 3G, 3G. Yeah, okay. All right, well, that's, that's fair yeah. enough. We, we like people that branch out and start. Uh -huh. Give you one more. Oh. Yeah. Heinz beans. What do they make? Lamps. Lampshades. Really? <laughs> well, lampshades. I think someone's upcycled them to uh, make lampshades, but yeah, we okay. can get uh, Heinz beans. But yeah, I think that is the trend now, Gary. I mean, we're a, hopefully a semi popular electrical channel. Yeah. Well, we're really thin, thin, thin in out there. Yeah, we've got well, we've got Tapland Springs, yeah, bring, our own water. The, uh, yeah, let's let's bring. Uh, where's Hand Cam? Hand, hand Cam. Let's bring Hand Cam in. We've got a new person tonight helping us. So Hand Cam, thank you very much. Hand Cam's in. There we have the the, the refreshing the electrical industry. Yes, yeah, so we we branched out into yeah, we did. into that. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh, well, I thought we could if, if we you know that, the water has gone down. Obviously known as Tapland Spring in there. I thought okay. we could branch it a bit further. So something else we use a lot of. Well, do after curry night. So you're suggesting that we're going into the world of toilet tissue. So when people think efix, we want to think we want to think water, and we want to think toilet tissue. Is that where we're going? That's it. Yeah. Fantastic. Toilet paper. Yep. Well, yeah, it's yeah. good. I'm yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of people who've got jokes attached to that. Please keep them clean in the comments. Okay. Yes. As we go for that one. Okay. Yeah. So we're we're now providing our own branded toilet tissue. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Especially because it's curry night on a Wednesday. This is quite. Uh, quite sought after. I might keep this one for tomorrow. We're looking a little low in there as well. I've warmed that one up for you already. So that's the news then, is it? Or have we got any more no, news segments? No, that's another news as well. We've got two news segments. So, whatever next. Uh, last month, you may remember, we released a video about the screwless sockets. We did. The, what you mean, this one here? I'll bring hand cam back in. So just <laughs> give me a chance here. We've got hand cam back in. We had that and we asked the question, mm. didn't we, Gordon, whether this is the future of a socket outlet. Well, so the future, yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. Okay. Now, obviously there's a standard that everyone will have read. BS 1363 yep. was revised in 2018. Well, was it? Yeah. Have, we, have we got an asset of that? Can we just bring that one Let's in for bring us? Bring it in. So there it is, okay. Is that the asset? Have I got the right one up that's on the, the one. screen? Okay. The one. I'll put it on our screen as well. Okay, yeah, so that's good. So. And it's now, it's actually included in there that you can have a 13 amp socket with screwless terminals. So you're telling me that it's probably the race to be the first company to produce a screwless socket. Well, maybe on the on the back side, we're gonna to have to attach it obviously to the actual box itself. Yeah. And it's in the standards. That's in the standards, so yeah. So it's already covered. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's almost identical to what we've got there. So it mentions that you can have uh, you've got to have terminals, it's got to have, three. be able to take three 2.5 millimeter conductors, which flexible you, or solid. Right, okay, which you've done there. Or semi-stranded, and or two four millimeters. And these these ones we attached, I think, go up to four mil as well. So there we are, we're ahead of them. But it only has to take two of them, obviously radials and I don't know what yeah, the current yeah, ones are, right, three no. or four, but anyway, yeah, so well, it's in there. Well, so madam, with these, if, if, do you think we're a bit late with our patent? <sighs> Probably, yeah, somewhere. But well, it's going to be, who's going to be first? 
So if we're doing sockets, I, th I think ceiling rows and pendants is another one. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see whether somebody, because they already line up beautifully, don't that they? That should, in theory, be easy. Because there's no cables in there apart from the flex down to the pendant or the batten lamp holder. So maybe that's uh, where we're going to be taking that one. Mm. Okay, so is that the news finished? We've got another one. So you're uh, from, No, I think that's, that's all we've had this week. The other news? No, no, we've got lots of things we've been working on, but yeah, that's it for the news. I have we got lots of things we've been working on? I hadn't noticed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's the news finished. We, we promised we'd, we'd look at a, a new EV charging point to us. Mm. Uh, we were going to do a table-based tear down all the rest. We're going to actually do it chair-based. We've got lots of segments uh, this evening. So we're looking at this here. Gordon, do you want to yeah. get that out of the box for me? It's an EO. It yeah. doesn't look very big, Gordon. We only got no, half of it. No. So we've uh, we've been working with Replenish. Now, if you didn't see, we released that video last night. What do Replenish do, Gary? Well, they do not, um, uh, let's say, uh, make EV charging points. I think we said that in the video. They just supply the equipment required to be an EV installer, and they pretty much got everything covered and some of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. and it's where we go. <laughs> We're making a video, and we need a, a bit, a something that's EV, that can be tricky to get, especially technology's moving fast. It is. So we go to replenish, and yeah, so you can win this charger. Well, give we've, some, well I give the stuff away. You're just well, I'll let you give it away at the end. Oh, okay. Well, we're, yeah, but we had a selection of chargers sent in. Some of them are on the wall behind us. Hang cam in, please, sir. Yeah. So there they are. So, right, they so, so we had some from, from Wallbox. There's this really small one here. Yeah. Uh, there's three pairs, one from Wallbox, and this EO one. Yeah, obviously we joined with our EZ when we did that, but yeah, we picked pretty. on this one. We picked on this one because it's supposedly the world's smallest EV charger. Smart EV charger. Smallest smart EV charger. Yeah. Right, okay, so that is, it's all in there. It's all in the box. Yeah, right, okay, you pop that out of the box. Wow, that is not very big. No, it's half an iPad. Have a look at that. I've got your lift up for you. Oh, lift up. Yeah, so you're going to pop that open for you. <laughs> So it's smart. It's smart. All right, okay, um, so I, while you're in doing it, have I got to get my internet cable out to that very small device? Uh, no, so it hooks straight up to Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, so, hang on. I know wi is the bit that floats around and not hardwired. How is it going to know my router's there when I don't look as if I've got any buttons yeah, on the front? I think, it's, I think you down, download the app. Oh, uh, right, okay. And then the app, yeah, there is no button on the front of this. And it'll find the, find, so the app will find your Wi-Fi and then the app will then find the EV charging point. Yeah, I think So that's is that a bit like how Alexa worked when I programmed her in? Did you? Time? Yeah, it's just like I like to say Alexa now and again in these videos, because obviously it causes Everyone who's watching oh, Alexa's now just, yes. just, just done that. Oh, she, was, she must not uh, be Not to beat a bit. So right, let's so have let's a, have hand cam in them. Okay, I'll just move your toilet roll out. Right, okay, you that needs to come my side. Remember, it was curry night tonight. <sighs> so, so let's have a look at what we've got in here. So this so, is... Slightly open it. There okay. We go. So let's flip that. We've got a green board. On the back. It's like a farm, as you would always say in there. Yeah. Oh, I'll go first, if you don't mind. Yeah. This is where the cables are connected from the consumer unit, and they go line, uh, circuit protective conductor with the earth symbol, and neutral, Gordon. Yeah. Name me the rest. Uh, well, there you go. Oh, yeah. The rest of it is some electronics. Yeah, we've got some electronics we've down here. We've got some communications there. Okay, so uh, when you say communications, so that's how we're talking that's, that's to... Back to your Wi-Fi. Right, okay, yeah, brilliant. Interestingly, we've got, so then, two um, current transformer. Yeah, you have. Well. So yeah, it's got, a, it's got a, for, for a small box, you know, so two current yeah. transformers. So one I've, for load uh, curtailment. Check yeah. out the question we had last month on that, if you don't know what load curtailment is, but in layman's terms, it's, um, yeah, how it stops it exceeding that main circuit fuse in your house if you've got a lot of electrical hungry appliances in there right okay we can hook up the solar with the other ct you wow. buy those as optional extras they don't come with it um and well, then yeah yeah and the, the other questions always is am i going to have to install a b-type rcd at the mains end or will this very tiny device actually incorporate the b-type rcd gordon uh, so it incorporates the yes it incorporates the dc function of the rcd it does yes is that yeah. is that down here yeah we've got you can see our current transformer down there for that okay and yeah and uh, but it doesn't interesting so it doesn't have um pen fault monitoring built in. Right. Like some of the charges we've seen on the side. So they, they recommend you buy the Garrow unit. Okay, so I've seen that before. Now I've only got the, the Garrow unit that's got the B-type RCD uh, built in. So if I have a look at that, mm. that's there. So that, that, that first section there with the B-type RCD, Gordon, will not be required. 
I just need the stuff on this left hand side, which is the pen fault protection. Yeah, okay. That's okay. it, yeah. So, well, you'd need an air type RCD. Yeah, which is there. Uh, yeah. Sorry, no, we've got a B type yeah, in this one. So you'd, yeah. you'd lose the extension to it. Yeah, okay. And yeah. You Where's, just the symbol for, where's the symbol, Gary? Okay, it's just unfocused there. That's the B type RCD symbol. So, this section here would be replaced with an A type RCD, yeah. and then we'd have our pen fault protection on the other end. Yeah. And we've looked at that in a video as well, haven't we? The one we did when we did. Um, the Tesla EV charging point as well. Yes, so, so I'll replenish supply that to the, to the guys there on that site. So yeah, so this is how it's, so, I mean, there's okay, no, it's, it's, there's, it's limited room here. I'd, I'd be very careful bringing my cable in to get it to lay correctly in this section, especially when I'm gonna to have to come over onto this section here. Do you agree, Gordon? Yeah, but this is for, you know, this is for users who, who don't wanna shout from the hilltops that they've got uh, EV. It's nice looking new now. Yeah, so you've just got this small little, discrete LED on the front here that, that tells you what's going on. So mm -hmm. it goes red, green or blue, depending on the various status. Obviously it's an untethered unit. So for this small box, they've even had to build in the socket to plug in your, yeah, that, to plug in a, your lead. There's a lot in that box. Yeah. Okay. So that's the, uh, yeah, that's the EO Mini. Okay. And some other, some other good news for people out there. Good news? Yeah. What's the good news? Uh, so you could win that. Hopefully it works when we put it back together. Um, oh, the winning that. Yeah, oh, not us. <laughs> no, 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 that one. Yeah, I think oh, it is that one. Okay. Yeah, that is the one we've been sent. So that's why I wasn't uh, letting you completely loose at oh, it. Oh, right. I wonder why I won't be allowed too close, but yeah. yeah. Okay. And the lead and a tethered lead, and a, a lead to plug in. To, so obviously you can complete that charging process. Okay. The, well, the, if it's a competition, there's always something you're going to have to do in order to, to win this EO. And it's the smallest smart one on the market at the moment. It is, yeah, yeah it okay. is the smallest one. So how do I win it, Gordon? So if you're an EV installer, you want to get into the EV market, get yourself across to replenish.com. Okay. And you sign up uh, for an account. If you're obviously a contract, you will be able to get How much is that going to cost me? Nothing. Okay, sign up for a free account. Uh, you can, you can um, so sign up for that. Make your first purchase before the end of December. Okay. And you get 5% off. How? Just by eFix5, the code's on there. Okay, That's a good yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Some of this we, we've sort of practiced. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> E-Fix 5. And yeah, so you get your 5% off your first order and you'll enter the draw to, uh, to win the EO charger and the charging cable set as well okay. with it. And we love that software that we showed in the video, didn't we, that sent you through, gave you hints and tips at each stage, what you might need. Have you thought about the clips? Have you thought about the gland? Do you need pen fault protection? Mm -hmm. It was brilliant, wasn't it? You got to the end of it, you got your bundle, very much like many online things, it puts it in your basket, obviously, as you exit. But now when you exit, if you put eFix 5 in, 5% off, and you go into the draw, which will be in the new year, probably one of the first live streams we do in 2021. And I'd imagine, are we in 2021 now or 2022? What are we in now? We're 2020, yeah. We're in 2020, are we? Yeah. Okay. It's like my own age. I don't actually know my own age. So, uh, so yeah, we'll jump into 2021. That could be your first uh, non-festive non yeah. present that you give yourself. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. either put it on your own house to somehow suggest you might be getting EV. Obviously, you could sell it on to a customer. Yeah. It's yours to do with what you want. But it is great for someone who doesn't want to shout from the rooftops that have had an EV charger put in because some of those units can be quite uh, quite large. It's, it's almost in the same size as a rotary isolator that we've seen yeah, in some of our Luden videos. That is a tiny the, box. Yeah, inspired by uh, by those. Yeah, it's very, it has a very similar sort of uh, feel to it. But I mean, yeah, that's what you want, discrete box. But yeah, that's the yeah. uh, first time we've seen that. Yeah, it is. We yeah. might have a look at some of the other ones we've got on the wall behind us. But uh, So get yourself over to replenish, get yourself a free account on your first order. If you only make one order, you're into the prize draw. Use the code EFIX5 in order to get a 5% discount. And you'll be in the prize draw for that and it'll be uh, announced yeah. in 2021. And yeah. I'm sure everybody wants to get out of 2020, so uh, into 2021. And, and the team at Replenish are brilliant. Yeah. Been great with us when yeah. we've uh, had contracts where we go out on site and they, we, we need to know, you know, what RCD do I need for a Tesla charger and getting hold of it next day. You know, Jim and the guys there are fantastic at that. They are nice guys. And uh, yeah, so we recommend them. And yeah, loads of other bits, obviously charging cables. NYY cable. We still get lots of questions about Ooh, NYY. Okay, yeah. And we are producing a video just about NYY cable soon. Yeah, I, I, yeah. If you're clipping to the outside of a building, there's no need for it to be steel or armoured, is there? No. NYY is a very good and easy option, and uh, yeah. And but we'll we will make to... a make a video on that because we do get a lot of questions about it, and we'll, we'll yeah, clear up some yeah. of the uh, confusion popular, yeah, about popular that. misconceptions on it as well. Yeah, mm. that's really good. Have we uh, have we had any questions come in? Are you seen any questions come by? Make sure you you leave your questions in your comments. We'll try and get back to them, and we will be talking about questions 
Um, in a, a few moments, I think, won't we, Gordon? We will, questions. We'll get, well, we'll get the questions, yeah, but first, the, there's something we're going to go to, Gary. It's, uh, we were going to wait until next year, so we're going to do more live streams next year. Yeah. You'll be either pleased to know or, yeah, no, are they, are they carrying on. We just go back to doing uh, doing uh, straight product videos and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tutorial yeah. stuff. On site stuff, yeah. No, 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 no. We're going to carry the punishment on. And we thought, we'd, uh, we'd, we, you know, we like, uh, you know, our community of followers we built up and the people who inspire us. Yeah, absolutely. And, and do a lot of uh, activities out there, sharing their work, sharing their great work, helping others, giving up some time to give people advice. Yeah. Um, that there's, we're going to celebrate them. So we're going to bring in uh, Electrician of the Month. Okay from next year so if you want to if you want to be involved there isn't any sort of formal thing to it just keep tagging us in with your posts you know we do we do follow a lot of people on uh, uh on instagram. social media yeah, and instagram, instagram. Yeah. if 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 you're obviously an electrician we normally follow back automatically if your account's private and obviously we can't see it and you've just got family holiday photographs in there we're not that keen on seeing those um but if we're not if you're following us and we're not following you then just just give us a message yeah, and damn, that's what tell us you're about. an electrician and, and you don't mind us following us we don't want to invade those uh, family memories yeah so we're gonna have contract of the month but yeah. we thought we'd roll it forward yeah i thought i was just gonna say yeah we, I think, we, we, think we'd roll it forward yeah. and we're, so we're giving our first contract of the month to someone who popped along to see us yeah. uh, last month uh, yeah. who's that gary that's eddie yeah so eddie from pegasus electrical so we had him in the workshop um, he was doing, and we're going to come back to this, he's, he's doing his press-ups uh, every day. I think he's on day 47 now of 30, so yeah. he's, he's gone beyond the number. So he's doing 25 of those um, every day. And if you're following him on Instagram, on LinkedIn or on Twitter, he's absolutely crushing it. But he's doing that for something that's close to our hearts anyhow, but been more in focus for us recently with me and probably recently with this week's events. Yeah. Um, what other things is he is he trying to support with those? So he's, he's doing uh, he's doing a lot of support for mental health. He is, and that's obviously you know supposed to be a very difficult area for people to talk about. And uh, you it's know, in the construction industry. Construction right? industry, and it was brought home to us earlier this week. We've had a really challenging week because one of our neighbours on the industrial estate uh, we're on has has struggled. Should we suggest? And yeah, unfortunately, he's he's um, he's no longer with us. And that, that hit us pretty hard during the week. Yeah. And that, you know, the, it's f tough. It's tough to talk about. And everybody always says, oh, you know, just, you, you know, just yeah. put things into perspective. When you're in that place, you yeah. can't. It's a dark place to be. It is. Um, there's no need for it. You know, that Eddie has tried to promote that awareness. And yeah, we're, we're going to follow that on. He's, he's, he popped in to see Gary. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you, there's always... As you get older and you get a bit of bit of snow on the thatch, uh, you remember some advice people people gave you, yeah. and it, you know it's watch out for those colleagues or friends you've got who probably have two challenging moments in their life at the same time. You know, it can be you know starting a business is a challenging moment. You know, things happening in your personal life, and I was always told to watch for people who. Um, Possibly having major, you know, you can cope with one thing, you can cope with the challenges at work and then you go home, that's fine. Or you might be having challenges at home and you come to work and that's a, that's a break for it. But sometimes when those worlds collide, it just heaps another layer of stress upon things. And uh, yeah. yeah. And, and Gary popped, uh, Gary, uh, Eddie popped in, didn't he? And he, he did, he spotted, yeah. Uh, yeah spotted, Gary's had a challenging year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone who's been following me on social media will know that perhaps my personal life's been very challenging. Eddie came in, he could clearly see that. And he um, put me in for the ECA's uh, charity, uh, which we're going to leave the a link electrical in the industries charity. Yeah, yeah. which we're going to leave a link in the description. So if you work in the electrical industry, it's as easy as this. So I rang the phone number. Eddie didn't think I would. I did. I rang the phone number. I spoke to a lady on the phone, whether it be a man next time. But I spoke to a lady. She asked me, "Am I an electrician?" I said, "Yes." She asked me, "What I work for?" I said, "I work for Efix." And she said, "That's not a problem." And she's put me, <laughs> she's put me in contact with somebody. And I'm currently going to have my fourth session on Friday where I'm seeing somebody who's helping me through some of the issues that I'm currently having. And that's all down to Eddie coming in, seeing the signs, and obviously continuing on phone calls and messages just to check that I'd um, followed my process on. So if you're out there and you're struggling, you'll be no different than me. And at the minute, I'm uh, having some uh, time on a Friday where I speak to people that are trying to help me through some of my issues. Yeah. 
and, and with that in mind, we're going <laughs> to... With that in mind, so, so this is not going to help me. Eddie's done his bit, and we thought, well, we're not up for doing press-ups every day, yeah, so with, much as I'd like to, to see it, <laughs> but that would be, uh, that could be a painful experience for all involved. So we are going to do... Uh, attempt. Attempt, Movember. Um, which will be quite humorous for us because obviously we've got a busy Movember, lots of uh, lots of videos to make. So well, we might end up being a bit a bit scruffy. Yes. <laughs> we might, we might as, as things develop, you'll be able to timestamp our videos exactly when we make them, depending on the mess of the facial hair uh, on on the face we well, have. We're so. going to give it a go, is what we're going to say. We're so. going to give it a go. Yeah. Uh, no, we are. We'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it. Well, yeah, um, I'm just thinking about what what my face can push out in a month. Not a lot, probably. Yeah. So uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be even better. I'll get, bring the cat down to remove uh, it yeah. at some point. Okay. Yeah. So, so so Gary might end up a little bit like this. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be quite proud of that one. Of the yeah, Salvador Dali. Yeah, yeah, I could have yeah, a bit of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all right. And then it's been rumoured I'll probably end up looking like this. <laughs> Dick Strawbridge. Yeah, Dick Strawbridge. And uh, so, so we'll give it a try. If anyone wants to, to, to join us in the fun, we'd be pleased to share those photographs with you. Uh, it's, a, it's a great cause. It's not just about mental health. It's also about uh, testicular cancer yeah. and prostate cancer. Yeah. Um, so we've probably left in our age, Gary, one of those behind, but we're probably entering the realms of the next one a little bit later yeah, in life. Absolutely. So. Yeah, so with, with the challenging we, we've had, the challenging probably three quarters of a year that I've personally had, and obviously Eddie's endeavours, we've named him our Electrician of the Month. We, we have, yeah, and so. well deserved, because it's not just about what he's done for mental health, he gives a lot of time up to advise people, give a bit of feedback, constructive feedback yeah. on, on work he sees. Uh, and remember, help is free. We'll leave the link in the description. The uh, ECA, if you go on to their charity uh, through the link that we leave in the, in the description, you can get some help as well, exactly the same as I did. And again, feel free to reach out to me. I, I don't know how much help I could be to you, but I can. I just encourage you to go and do it. I've done it, so yeah, mm. I don't see why anywhere else could. Well, if you're passing us, drop in for a coffee here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we have got, uh, I think, a couple of weeks' time, we've got a, a visitor coming to see us. We have. Yeah. Know, who's, oh, yeah everyone's, everyone's got a, a story of challenges they're facing. Yeah, and, yeah. and he has as well. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. So yeah, drop in for coffee, just all, don't all come at once and do tell us beforehand. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, that brings us round to some unpleasantries, I would suggest. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we thought it's time to bring in a new series for the show. So Henry, just run the video. And now on eFix, it's time for Points of View. <laughs> Welcome to this month's Points of View, where we review the comments that eFix viewers post on the videos we've recently put out. We've been working recently with the ECA to answer regulations related questions. Now they're quite tricky, I would suggest, Gary, but how did that last video go down that we posted? Not very good at all. We had an equal number of likes as we did dislikes, and we had a, a barrage of comments, some of them not very positive. Gordon. Yeah, I'd suggest it's probably our most disliked video we've ever done. And yeah, perhaps let's have a look at that video to remind ourselves. We're brave to revisit the footage, but revisit it we will. Welcome to this Q&A with the ECA. Today's question is, do outside sockets need to comply with access requirements regarding mounting heights? To answer this for us, we're going to head over to Shahid Khan, technical manager from the ECA. Over to you, Shahid. Thank you for the question about outside sockets and whether there is any information regarding mounting heights. We usually refer to approved document M for such information, but unfortunately, the mounting heights that are stated in there are only applicable to habitable rooms within buildings. However, it may be worth looking at BS 8300, which does have recommendations on designing an accessible and inclusive built environment. Really interesting stuff that, Shahid. Thanks for covering that for us. It's important that we're aware of other British standards, as we know. If you've got any pressing technical questions, then please comment below or get in touch through our usual social media platforms. Thank you very much for watching. So Gary, I noticed you've brought us to a room with some sockets in it, but no outdoor sockets. Oh, I was trying to dress the set to obviously reflect the fact that we're talking about socket outlets, but of course they're outdoor socket outlets. And when I went right through the studio boxes, I could only find decorative sockets. So maybe a complaint next month, a PO box e-fix uh, would be the way to go forward with that one. And perhaps some points of view, we can address the fact that we had a poorly dressed set. Yeah. So we got some complaints and in particular, this one from a concerned e-fix viewer. Should we review that guy? Do we have to? Really interesting stuff. 
Are you serious? Did you even see what that clown said? Shake my head. Expect a lot better from you guys, to be honest. These short videos seem to be well far off the mark. Whoever uploaded this should be fired. Hmm. Well, we haven't sacked Joe yet. We're going to give him one last chance to get this right. Um, uh, the person who uploaded the video, do you want to discuss who he was? That oh, was me. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See you later, folks. Yeah. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> okay. So, so BS8300, have you got a copy on you? I haven't. It seems to be incredibly expensive. Okay. And, okay. and I can share that with the viewers. Absolutely, you know, the... the the ECA are trying to do a job, they're answering the regulations part, and sometimes the regulations need to another regulation. They do. And that regulation leads to another regulation. And we're going to lead it maybe to maybe a little common sense now, aren't we? Yeah, so obviously the ECA are in a tough position because they don't necessarily want to commit because, you know, the answer is always with regulation, it depends. It depends on you. It depends on, on the building you're working in, the type of people using the building, it's particularly in that case. It was, but we were outside of the building. So I think maybe uh, on those larger type of buildings where maybe we're worried about accessibility, not a domestic dwelling, perhaps somebody like the architect or the person that planned the operation in itself would be responsible for the decision, do you agree? It would, yeah, definitely. And, and that's the sort of common sense we're going to be applying in the future to these videos. So Joe's going to answer the question, ask the question. The e if he's still here, we don't get rid of him. <laughs> um, the ECA will, will give the regulatory take and then it'll come back to us and we'll give our, should we suggest, common sense approach to it. Live reaction almost, wasn't it, to that? Yes. Yeah. So I would suggest that socket outlet should be placed at height that's easily accessible to everybody on the outside of the building. That would be the common sense answer. But of course, if it was one where there was planning involved by somebody else, such like as an architect, Maybe you can sum for that height of that socket outlet and the problem's gone away. There's no direct answer in other words. Well, I'd stop you there, yeah. Oh, because what you haven't considered is the Equalities Act. You're right, I haven't. Yeah, and you've probably never read it either. But what we would suggest is if you are working on those kind of accessible buildings, yes, there would be an architect involved who waded through the 40 pages of, that, of the regulation that refers to bathroom sanitary installations. Okay and that includes hand dryers, mirrors, taps, and everything else. And those installations have to be the same as other ones on the site. You can't discriminate for people. Okay. Outside socket, Gordon? Uh, I don't know, it's probably 100 pages on that, but okay. I haven't quite got to that bit yet. But okay. if you are worried about that type of insulation, ask the question and we'll get somebody else to try and answer it. Okay, so in summary, we will be reacting to some of the ECA videos to give our opinion and maybe a little bit of a, a common touch to the problems and how to solve them. And that's all from this month's Point of View. Nice hat. Nice hat. You like that hat? Yes, it uh, gives a bit of a clue of some other stuff we're coming up with. We were a bit worried when we started thinking we're going to have to make some videos about fire hoods, Gary. Fire hoods? Yeah. When are they coming? After Halloween, I think. Right, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, yeah, be interesting that well. Always like a fire hood, mm. interesting to see how to fit those. Mm. Okay, so um, that takes us through to Halloween. So it's, it's, it's stamped for those people watching it live that we're in that uh, realms of Halloween at the minute. So we've got to go off and uh, knock a few doors and see if we can get some sweets on the way home. That's what we'll be up to. But what we'll be up to next week when we go live? Okay, so we've got live feedback next week. So Wednesday. we'll be giving away. Wednesday, we're going we're gonna we're to. We'll be live streaming again next Wednesday. Are we? Yeah. So flag in the sand. We're well, going well, Wednesday. The videos for that have already been, uh, we're starting to release them. Right, okay. Still, still got a couple to finish. So, um, so if you're saying we're releasing the live feed videos this week and we're going live next week, normally when we do a, a live feed event, Gordon, we give stuff away. Is that what's happening? Yes, we'll be, there'll be yeah, more stuff to give away. <laughs> I'm not saying we're giving everything away. Some of the stuff has to stay that we have here. But yeah, we've got some great, great things. And lube. And lube. No, I think we're, we are nearly out no, of lube. No, we're nearly out of lube. We're nearly out of lube. I've, so. I've seen four bottles, though, today. Yeah, promise no more lube. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we've got, we'll, we'll have some great giveaways and some questions and lots of things for people to get involved in uh, next week. Uh, yeah, we've got this beast of a floodlight behind us to have a look at. Yes, that one down there. Yeah. We'll be gonna, so well, that's what I like about it. It's not just necessarily those consumer domestic products. Are we? We're getting to look at a wide range of stuff, including stuff from Luden, which I always like. Yeah, some, yes. uh, yeah that video is out. The, the, yes. the Tice Cube, yes. Sparky Luden's behind. He goes trapped in the cupboard. Uh, yeah, he was, which, uh, uh, we can, well, let's get hand cam out for Sparky <laughs> Luden for me. Anyone who watched us this week or has been following us on Instagram saw him protecting the ginger biscuits that are very uh, 
very uh, sought after around here, I would suggest. So we're only allowed one packet of six ginger biscuits a day, aren't we? Yeah. On the day, that's one day we only ate ginger biscuits as well. So I was desperately into the second packet. We over, we over run a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, missed out. Yeah. Gary's time. a bit like a squirrel once he gets in the biscuit barrel. You know, it's just, it's just, if yeah. my kids are on now, they go, if dad opens a packet of biscuits, it, it's relentless. He has to eat them all. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's good. So, so live feed week next week, giving stuff away as we always do. Interact with us as always on this YouTube. So we love your comments and we've seen them flooding in during uh, points of view. So we was uh, trying to read as many of those as we can at that point. Keep those comments coming and the positivity. Remember, everybody in this industry should be helping everybody in this industry. And we talked about that earlier on as well. Gordon, yeah, we? great comments there. Congratulations to Eddie. And, yeah. you know, salute him for all the work he's doing out there. And yeah, the, the, those press ups every day, I get worn out watching. I think he's on day 47 of 30. Yeah. You know, just, so you just think, he's, but he, he just pushes through that 25 now yeah, yeah, compared to when he started. And obviously we've got quite a few female electricians follow us. Uh, the may struggle yeah. to, to grow a, um, a beard or a moustache, yeah. but they can do uh, Movember, I think I to believe you can do certain I'm exercise okay. to do that. So you can do that as well, Gary, if you want. We'll, we'll, we'll do that, we'll, we'll yeah. smash it out around the Well, Eddie, the estate Eddie was dressed in pink the other day when he was doing it for breast cancer as well. There's nothing that bloke won't do press-ups <laughs> for. He's an immense character, fantastic. Yeah. I think we're nearly there, Gordon. I think we? we are. I think there's yeah. a pint at a bar nearby that's got our name on it. Okay, just the one or three. Yep, yeah. okay. So as always, thank you very much for joining us on the live feed. We're going next Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Uh, we put the flag in launching effectively the live feed event, which means we give stuff away across Instagram and here on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. And also, don't forget, get over to Replenish. Uh, make sure you get yourself an account. And then if you put eFix5 in your first order, you get 5% off and you'll be in the draw for this, which we'll be doing 